What's up guys, my name is Zach Mueller. I probably look like total crap because I am jet lagged from traveling through Europe for three weeks, but oh my god, it was so fun and I'm so happy to be back. Welcome to Expose. So sorry I missed you guys last week. Traveling has just been absolutely crazy, but it's been so much fun. I've met so many cool, amazing magicians along the way. If I don't stop talking about it now, I will rant for three hours, so we'll talk more about that later. For right now, I am back, and as always, that means it is time to pass it over to Kristen's segment. Take it away. Hey guys, let's get into the news, and we begin with a brand new one hour long original series magic competition show that will debut on Sci Fi on March 4th called Wizard Wars. The show was created by producer Rick Lax and associate producer Justin Flom and got its start on YouTube. You actually can go look on YouTube and see the original Wizard Wars there starring Rick, Justin, Jimmy Fingers, Kyle Marlette, and Bizarro. So just a lot of really, really awesome guys. Super fun little clip and it'll kind of get you in the mood for the actual debut of Wizard Wars on March 4th. The new series stars Gregory Wilson, Angela Funovitz, Shimshi, and Justin Flom as resident magicians and will also feature competitors Blake Voigt, Chris Funk, Landon Swank, and Marcus Eddy. Just the best lineup Ever. The premise is as follows, and I quote, it's an hour long special exploring how professional magicians transform ordinary objects into full magic routines. Two teams of contestant magicians are given four random objects, and as soon as they create a routine using those four random objects, they'll perform it live in front of an audience as well as a panel of judges. The winning team then moves on to the wizard war against our resident wizards. So who's on this expert panel of judges, you ask? It's Penn and Teller. Jason Latimer and oh, me. Yeah, I'm on there. Sitting right next to Penn. Again, Wizard Wars will air on Sci Fi on March 4th. We'll mention it again before the actual air date, but we want to let you guys know so you can mark it on your calendars. And a quick congratulations to Rick and Justin for all of your hard work. Congratulations. Hey again, guys, we have three new tricks on the wire this week, or three new cardistry downloads, so let's check them out. Mecular is a 99 cent flourish that is pretty darn cool, has a really interesting flow to it, but dude, you gotta change your shirt. Variety is kind of a good thing. <laughs> Turbo by Blake Smith is a flourish that you could do infinitely. I'm, I guess you could do any flourish infinitely, but this one, there's like a part that you could do that one part infinitely within the flourish, or as long as you, you wanted, you should just check it out. And last but not least, Shells by Dom Corrado is a really interesting flourish. It's short, simple, and sweet, but I like it. Here's what it looks like. And that is all on The Wire this week. Go check out those downloads. They are all pretty awesome. In our media section, you have to check out Kayla Morelli's new video. It is called Magic Beatbox, and it's just epic. I really do think this has potential to go crazy viral. Check it out. <laughs> that and many more schmexiness can be found in our media section and also on Caitlin's YouTube channel. Love you, buddy. All right, guys, that is all for me this week. Andre Jick, take it away. Hey, what's up, guys? Andre here, and welcome back to this week's expose. Sorry, that title card was totally unnecessary, but I wanted to use at least a part of it because Michael James used it last week and it made him look so epic. But uh, anyway, we were thinking. You know, you guys have seen us throughout the years in all sorts of videos, uh, from our personal ones, to deck reviews, to playing card trailers, to even expose. And we were thinking, uh, if you could, kindly please send us in your favorite videos of yourself, uh, performing either magic or cardistry, could be really anything, your live performances, and uh, Michael and I are going to take a look at those and select our favorites, ones that inspire us, and we're going to use those to feature them in next week's expose. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Send those uh, videos into either Michael at Theory11.com or Andre at Theory11.com. And remember, this video doesn't have to be for this purpose. It could be videos you know, you've know you done in the past, uh, some of your favorite ones. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, also, Theory11 has been selected to host a legendary event. 
the Tri-Wizard Tournament. Okay, it's not the Tri-Wizard Tournament, but I think close enough, really practically the same stuff. Um, it's gonna feature dragons. No, it's the Saturday Night Contest featuring Super Bowl XLV. XLVIII. -I -I. It's actually short, <laughs> an abbreviation of 48, of course. Um, Super Bowl 48 between the Seattle Seahawks and, of course, the Denver Broncos. Your job tomorrow is going to be to log on to the forums and post your best guess, your best prediction as to what you think the outcome of Super Bowl 48 is going to be. So the format could look something like 48 44 uh, Broncos or, you know, 33 31 uh, Seahawks. Something like that. So you have no excuse. It's free. Uh, go and register. Go and enter your best guess. Um, remember last year we did this, we uh, had somebody guess the right answer and the exact prediction, the team and the exact score. It was 34 to 31. Crazy. Hit the nail right on the head. So this year we wouldn't be a, as surprised unless of course the same person wins, then we would be a little surprised. Um, but that said, uh, the prize, of course, the prize. I'm glad you asked. Eternal glory awaits the student who wins the tournament. Okay, just kidding. It, it won't be eternal glory, but uh, the same thing practically. Playing cards could be a signed football, could be a baby piglet signed by Michael James himself. You never know with us these days. But uh, anyway, that said, um, it's going to be awesome. So again, go register and go post your best guess tomorrow as to the prediction of Super Bowl 48. Um, anyway, that said, uh, before I go, one more thing. The winner of last week's uh, comment is Mooney D911. Pink monarchs, he says. Nothing is manlier than that. <sighs> anyway, you win, man. You win. Uh, contact support. Claim your free prize. And with that said, we will see you guys next time. Once again, guys, we want to thank you all for watching. On behalf of myself, Kristen, Andre, Michael, and the rest of the Theory 11 team, we want to thank you guys for watching, and we want to wish you an awesome weekend. Go have some fun. I had a fantastic January, and I cannot wait for the rest of this year. Good looking out, guys. I'll see you next Friday.